I was an MIT educated neurosurgeon. And I quit. Now、Do、I'm unemployed、else. and alone、uh, in the mountain. Makes me feel good, like being out here, being out in nature. Hello, my science friends. I'm going to watch this viral video with you. It got over six million views. I also have quit working in healthcare and clinical research. Now I make illustration tutorials on YouTube. I'm really curious whether he has similar experience as I did. Let me put my headset on. I used to be a neurosurgeon. I trained. Or I. So many mosquitoes. Do you guys see? And I, I was a neurosurgeon for almost ten years. After all of that, so that's twenty years of my life. And I quit. Most people don't have time to sit and listen to、uh, you know, a ten or fifteen minute story or however long it takes to explain. Now there are over six million people who gave him time to listen to his story. So I'm really happy for him. Well, I've always been interested in how the brain works, how consciousness works, how How our our brain and body is able to perceive this mountainside. It seems that he has real genuine passion about neuroscience. I think this is a sign that he didn't go into medicine for the money and the status. We have so many choices in life. Like, is there such thing as a good life? And if so, how do you live that? Those are all questions that I was curious about. He thinks. Very deep. When people really go into the rabbit hole of what's the meaning of life, that's a guarantee existential crisis on the way. It, you know, I had good partners. I had good hospitals that I worked at,、uh, but something was not right. I was very unhappy. And on the surface, it didn't make sense. Yeah, I agree. It will not make sense to a lot of people that you have a prestige job with insane pay.、Uh, why are you still not happy? But this can really happen to people. I was getting paid very well. It was a very well-respected job. I had good colleagues,、I、had good support, but I was the most unhappy、um, that I've ever been. It sounds like he's going through something. Sometimes these feelings that are so alienated to us, we don't have a proper word to describe it. While I was doing my clinical research, had good colleagues, good environment, but I still feel drained and not fulfilled. It was really weird. That's why I decided to quit and to pursue art and have this YouTube channel now to teach scientists to draw their diagrams. I couldn't really figure it out for a long time,、uh, but you know now I know what it is. It's really complicated, and I'll do the best I can to explain it. Going back to medical school, when when I took that oath and I had that、um, older professor say that your job is to relieve suffering, you know, that's what I understood. To、um, of what it means to be a good doctor, and I had learned all these fancy spine surgery techniques to do all this incredible surgery work through tiny cuts. It's called minimally invasive spine surgery. It's the latest. Technology. He's really talking like a nerd here. <laughs> It's a sign that he has real passion about neuroscience. I believe he was a good doctor.、But、there were way more people that I couldn't help. I can do surgery to cut out like a bulging disc to to remove something and make more room for a nerve. But what I what I realized later on is that you know, those those aren't fixing the problem. There's so many people with with back problems, neck pain, back pain, nerve pain down their arms and legs. Surgery, surgery might make them better for a little bit, but it didn't address what caused that disc to wear out, or the disc to bulge, or the joint to get loose.、Uh, So what what I was doing? There's a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> the mosquitoes keep interrupting him. He should have put a mosquito net around himself before filming, but he knows next time. So what I was doing was I was doing the surgeries that I learned how to do. I was trying to help people, but these surgeries they weren't fixing the problem. They would help some people feel better. Some people would feel the same. Some people would be worse. Uh, a lot of people I saw in clinic 
guy to tell him that, oh, surgery's not going to help you. And of course, they would be devastated because I was sort of their last hope. This is part about working in healthcare that no one talks about. Um, you will be surrounded by suffering every day. When people go to hospital to look for healthcare workers, that means they have some health issues. They are in pain. It's very mentally demanding to deal with all these suffering. And I honestly think people who has a lot of compassion would have problems working in healthcare. In order to heal people, you need to have compassion. At the same time, by having compassion, you absorb so much of the suffering. It will start to corrode your mental health. Gooby seems like a very compassionate person. He really feels the pain of the patients. On the long term, it will become a burden on his mental health. I could do a perfect surgery and some people would get better. Some people would stay the same, some people would get worse. Even though I did the exact same perfect surgery. And some people would get better before I could operate on them. Even with gigantic bulging discs, they would get better. If I scheduled the surgery a month out, they would sometimes they would call me a week before surgery and say, oh, hey doc, uh, you know, my, my nerve pain's gone. Um, do I still need to do surgery? That was very confusing to me. It took quite some time to explain his realization that surgery is not the only solution for a lot of symptoms. If you guys are interested in that, you can go check out his video. I will skip this part. So that, that was my, that was my aha moment. It's like, oh, I know what's going on. Wait, to actually heal, you, you need to like eat a certain way sleep a lot, not be stressed out, have a good social network, exercise, move your body, stretch. And if you do all those things, you heal. I have experience with what he just said. I used to have back pain on my lower right back. If I walk too much, I will have excruciating pain the next day. Once I stopped the job I did before, only surround myself with people I like. It's going to the gym to lift weight, jogging. The back pain was gone. I don't feel them anymore. When, when your body heals, it heals everything. And that actually became a huge problem. And uh, let me explain why that's a huge problem. Because most people will say, well, how is that a problem that you figured out how people are healing? Uh, it's a problem because our medical system isn't set up, isn't set up this way. Our, our, um, our uh, you know, I'm, I'm not knocking any hospital or group that I worked with. I've I had the privilege to work with really amazing people in amazing hospitals amazing institutions but the way that everything is set up in the whole country it's not any particular hospital the way things are set up is that the hospital needs to make money if you figure out a way to help patients heal and that and that way doesn't include a pill or a surgery well then the hospital and the doctor are in big trouble because if you figure out a way to help people heal and you can't charge them for it, <laughs> well, then you've just um, worked yourself out of a job. <laughs> yeah, it's the problem of recurring revenue. If your product is a one-off product that solves the problem completely, then you will not have recurring revenue. So what he's basically saying is that the people need to continually sleep being sick in order to keep the cash flow of the healthcare system. It's a very dark truth that he just spilled here, I hope. And hide in the mountain well. Gooby seems like a genuinely good person who has compassion to the patients and want to solve their suffering. And a lot of surgeons are allegedly psychopaths. Gooby is not, so now he is unemployed. <laughs> this could be one of the case study, I don't know. Yeah, it tore me up inside. And I knew that if I kept going back to that job every day for another 20 years, 
uh, I would die before 20 years. I, I, my body and mind and soul, they would have just broken down and I don't, I don't think I would have made it. Yeah, he's a normal person. You really need to be a psychopath to operate in such kind of corporate system. Only psychopaths who are motivated by money and status can continue to do that for a long time. I suppose, allegedly, it is what the statistics says. I did not make this up. So I, I, I knew that something had to change, but I was stuck. I, I was the breadwinner. And you know, I think a lot of people can relate to this. For responsible people, they would feel guilt when they are not fulfilling their responsibilities. I think this is uh, one of the pitfall many of the good people falls into. They strive to be the best version of themselves. They can often be exploited by the system. I knew that I was dying. I, I was dying inside and my body was dying. So you know, I, I talked to my wife and I said, well, you know, would it be okay if I, I just work part-time? Do something else, something that makes me feel good, like being out here, being out in nature uh, the rest of the time. And you know, my, my wife, you know, I, was, I said earlier that she's amazing. She said, I see what you're going through. I've, I've lived with you through it. You should just quit. That is so surprising. I don't know. I have a darker view of human nature. I would assume the partner would encourage him to continue the doctor career in order to spend the money. <laughs> he chose a good wife. Actually cares about him. Not only his money and his status. And I, I, I said, what? <laughs> how, how can I quit? You know, you're, not, you're not working yet. She's she was going to school for a second career and and she said well you know we'll be okay uh, we, you know, we saved up some money it's not enough to retire but it's something to live off of for a few years so I I, I, I just worked another nine months and I quit yeah, good for him. I think having people supporting you with your decision is very important for any type of transition. And it seems like Gooby has good people around him. I, I would try to explain, but this video is probably already 40 minutes long and people <laughs> have 40 minutes to listen to. Over 6 million people have been here to listen to you. So congratulations on the YouTube success. With 6 million views, I think he can make about twenty thousand dollars if his channel is monetized record the experiences i have with uh with doobie because you know, she's not gonna live forever here's another mosquito that's sticking on his face right here if i live a full-length life you know she's gonna pass away before i do and um i wanted to be able to remember the times that I've had with her. And so that's, that's why I made this channel. Americans are very affectionate toward their pets. Uh, they really treat them like part of their human relatives. That is just something that I never understand. I don't know, I never have a pet. I have pet fish, but not ones that's semi-sentient. So I don't have any experience with that. Um, but this, so this channel is dedicated to Doobie, who's the, which is the dog of Gooby. He will definitely be posting more videos. If that's what you guys are into, go follow him. Trust your heart. Lean on the people that love you. And do what you need to do. Whatever that is. Okay, yeah, that's a very good ending message. Very inspiring. That's amazing. They're just so many mosquitoes around him, but <laughs> go follow him.